I have chocolate milk! Okay, today, I didn't just wake up this time. I actually woke up, like, I guess four hours ago now? Or I guess three hours ago. Uh, woke up three hours ago, and I decided to um, actually make myself breakfast for once. <laughs> so I made myself chickpeas. Um, I just roasted them in the oven. I ended up burning them, and I was kind of horrible and unlucky. And I also made myself some soba, some cold soba. So, that was pretty good. Ah, so, I got confirmation from a lot of my friends. On, like, I was like, hey, yo, tell me what the fuck it means to be, to have a flirtatious personality. So I asked them about it, <clears throat> and two answers um, stood out. It was between my girlfriend, Faith, and Michaela, who has both been in my videos before. Did someone just blow? Yes. What did someone just want? Basically, Michaela said that my personality is very flirtatious because I pay attention to the little things about people. And I, when I, like, when I notice little things about people, I end up complimenting them about it. And I do that a lot, she said. And one of the examples she gave me was that she came, uh, like, we hung out one time. And then she got, like, her, she got her hair done or whatever. She got, like, her hair done and then, like, her nails done as well. She, like, got her hair dyed, like some type of red like she's like a redhead oh no she's like blonde but she dyes her red but anyways yeah so she had this stuff right this is the example she gave me she told me that once we hung out and i saw her the first thing i said was oh you got your hair done and your nails done yo you look really pretty like you look really cute and like to me that just sounds normal like i'm not trying to flirt with anyone when i say that and i've had this conversation with my girlfriend because like both my girlfriend and i faith both Faith and I, we love complimenting people. Basically, she's like, yeah, you just compliment people a lot and you make them feel like good about themselves and you love like making people laugh and then you also make people laugh in a flirty way. And I'm like, wait, what do you mean I make people laugh in a flirty way? And she told me, she was like, you just, you just do like when you make them laugh, you like, you have really good eye contact and you smile a lot and all that stuff. I don't know. Her, her, her reasoning was really weird. Um, but it made sense at the same time. And then Faith, I asked Faith, and she was like, um, yeah, you're flirtatious, but like society's standard, yes, you're flirtatious, but with us, we're just complimenting people like, and we're just being nice to people. Basically, the, the moral of the story is that I... I think it's okay for me to compliment people and to make them feel good about themselves. And I see that as nothing more than me just pointing out something that I, that I see, that I like. And I don't feel the need to hide it or whatever. Because um, this, because I mean, it also happened as well with like someone else where they told me I have political personality because. Um, it was a girl I work with. Um, I noticed that she usually has her hair up, but she had it down this time. So this is like the first time I saw it like down forever, like ever. And I noticed that she had, her hair was like super thick and like super healthy looking and it looks like she took care of it. So literally when I saw her, the first thing that popped in my mind was that thought. So all I did was walk past her and be like, your hair looks really like really healthy and really full. And I walked away. And I'm just like, bro, I just noticed something. Like, I am I feel like I'm just like an observant person. I don't know. It was just, I, I don't know. Accidental riz. I'm telling you, it's just accidental riz. Oh, also, a lot of people are now noticing. <laughs> uh, oh shit, what the fuck? Wait, why are there so many? Wait, whoa, 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 why are there so many? There's one comment that, uh, <laughs> Um, uh, it was like a comment that was like talking about my titles and it said like I miss her and it was like 
the the comment was like, oh, it's a really crazy title. Like, I'm going to watch to the end of this hella long video to see what actually happens. Um, <laughs> and <laughs> nothing literally happened the entire time. I think people are starting to realize <laughs> that my titles literally mean nothing. They make jack shit. <laughs> <laughs> like one of my titles to one of my really old videos is Yeji is my bias like <laughs> my titles have nothing to do with the video oh my god and it's ah, it's just so fucking stupid funny to me also I don't want people to think that the only type of music I listen to is hyperpop dear god that'd be a horrible life just as an hyperpop no way um, I also like Pink Sweats, Frank Ocean, Radwimps, Biggie, Tupac, Kendrick, Peso Pluma, Daniel Caesar, Bruno Major, Yo Sobi, Jeremy Passion, Little Yachty, Kevin Abstract, Gangstar. Oh shit! Oh, I. Fuck. Oh my. <laughs> See your bulge, dog. I want to see that big bulge. Oh shit, I clicked the wrong thing. Oh no, please don't. I was drinking chocolate milk. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, she lost her other arm. Okay. Let's try this again. Oh. Yeah, sure. Okay, there's a hole right there. Maybe I go up here? Oh shit, it's that girl, okay. Oh, okay, let me just hide in the hole real quick. Okay, ah, okay, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Huh? Zai, we've been submissive long enough. Can't you hear our soul yearn for more? We can dominate. You can dominate. Just leave your earthly body behind and let us ascend. Let me dominate those that need hurting. Wait. What? What is true domination? There is no domination if there are no weak. That is the law of the nature. That is true. Wait, why do I have a bulge? The fuck? There is no shame in admitting that you want power over the poor and the weak. You yourself has sought domination by getting this far. You wanted to prove to others that you got what it takes. You wanted to dominate the oppressive and hopeless darkness. As time will pass, Will you tell people about your monumental achievement and share your gospel? How you pass through all the hardships, the dungeons laid before you, and about your eventual ascension. Have you, how you pass through? Uh, no, I'll share the gospel. I'll share the gospel. I went through so much. Stories about your fabled endeavors are passed to people of all ages. Your tales inspire many in the times to come from children to elderly. In the coming era, mankind is at the brink of chaos. Diseases run wild and kingdoms wage war with hundreds of thousands of casualties on all fronts, both women and children included. You would have the power to interrupt and potentially stop this. You would have the strength to stop the mindless killing. But that would require you to step out of the plane of this void. Instead, you could try to affect mankind through religion and beliefs. Affecting the whole culture means slow change, and its effects don't save those in immediate peril. But religion might have more long-lasting effects. Instead, you could try to affect mankind through religion and beliefs. No culture means slow change. Especially don't save those in immediate peril, but religion might have more long. <sighs> okay, save mankind with your strength or... 
influence people through religion. Okay, so if it's if it's, if it's literally asking if I want immediate change to happen, then I would go strength. But if I want more of a world where it is morphed and molded more to what I want it to be, then that would be to take religion. Then I might go religion. I'm obviously speaking just theoretically here. <laughs> like, if I were a god, if I were just a, a god that can just do whatever they want, if I was, okay, if I was a god whose moral code and drive is to be, is to create peace and to create a good life for people, that, uh, for the people that I, I guess, lord over, like I'm a god over, then I would probably do it over religion. Like I, I believe in a slower, slower pace for the greater good. So, <laughs> influence you with the religion. Slowly, in times of despair, people start to turn to your religion in hopes for salvation. Many are killed, and every every new victim feeds the ongoing plague and destruction. This age would be known as a dark age in the history books, but your light would become an important factor in survival of civilizations. You are known to men as the merciful God. New deities and false apostles rise as decades go by. But the foundation you laid during the dark age made you the pillar of, of the pillar of morals for centuries to come. Ah, okay, sick. Even if your power is limited to that of the new gods, your legacy would eventually rival that of older gods. Oh shit. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? You never escaped the dungeons of fear and hunger. It says you chose eternal void and darkness as a new god. Okay, not bad. That's it. Okay. Really? I literally just pick, became a new god. Huh. Mm. Sick. Okay, so basically, I followed the footsteps of Volte, Nilvin. And who was the last the tormented one, I guess? I followed the footsteps of them being, what, a puppet for, like, the greatest scheme of things? I still don't know what that means. But, okay. So, I just kept this, narr like, this narrative going. Like, <laughs> a god, like, a bunch of gods coming together. They die. New gods come. That's, that's where I was in the timeline and then now I made a new timeline where I was a new new god I guess hmm so that was a good game I really really enjoyed that I really enjoyed it a lot actually that was awesome that was my first playthrough of a solo game on this channel that's wild to me that's crazy You know, if I keep thinking about it, I'm going to get emotional. That's wild. Okay. Jeez. It said ending D, by the way. Ending D. I'm assuming there's a ending A, B, C, D. And maybe F. Maybe E as well. And there might be an S ending. Who knows? Dungeon Knights mode? Enter the name schoolboy, schoolgirl, school kid. Wait, what? Play Dungeon Knights mode. Enter the name schoolboy, school. What is that? What is Dungeon Knights mode? All right, so I finished the game. I was going to do the Heart of Darkness ending, um, cause I think I knew where it went. Oh, knew knew where it went. Knew where to go. Um, but uh, I went there and. I thought it was gonna be the fish near the um, cave dweller or in the cave dweller civilization thing 
um, but apparently it was dormant so I just gave up there and I didn't want to go through trying to figure out how to get it not dormant I probably had to find another heart but anyways I finished the game um, and I just want to talk about it real quick because I feel like I, I just had my first thoughts on when I've like finished um, and I didn't really get all my thoughts out um, but basically I really thoroughly hella enjoyed this game this game was absolutely amazing in all the all the good ways um the atmosphere was fucking astonishing it was the perfect blend between like super dark and super mysterious at the same time when i was playing i was reminded a lot of the world building of like dark souls um because nothing is truly ever said explicitly the entire time you're playing um i mean maybe some stuff was said explicitly but um I feel like the, for the most part the entire story building and world building of the entire game and the lore surrounding surrounding the entire game was just very very um not mainstreamed for the game like it wasn't like feeding you like all the story tidbits down your throat and I am a very big sucker for that and I love that I love the theme of like being stripped down to your primal your your primal necessities as a human like fear and hunger like the, f the primary driving forces of what makes us human um i think that's awesome like not only just for hunger but like in the literal sense of like oh i'm hungry I'm, I'm famished but like hungry as in like there's a lot of lust going on around here there's a lot of greed there's a lot of other like stuff that can drive someone to be deceitful or power hungry just stuff like that i just love that um, the art was awesome. Um, I really, really, really like the coin flip mechanic. The coin flip mechanic is so fucking cool. It's like you're placing the entire, like, you're putting so much emphasis on a 50 50 chance. And you're putting your, like, what happens to your run, like, whether it be you just saved or haven't saved in a while, you're putting your entire run on a 50 50 chance. And it comes out of random and i think that is brilliant i think that's fucking awesome it not only makes the gameplay interesting and like all your runs like more dynamic but also like hammers down the fact that <laughs> it hammers down the fact that like you never know what's gonna happen while you're just like walking around just chilling and that leads me to like to my next point like i love all the dynamic happenings and the, the dynamic events that happened like i was just walking back from the central square of mahabra and i, w I wanted to save in like the the tower but the fucking <laughs> fucking harvest man i don't know where we're just chilling just minding his, his own business like what the fuck that's he was like just chilling and i had to walk into him and i had the worst game over of my fucking life that was horrible i just think like coin flip coupled with dynamic events like that is sweet kiss sweet kiss i love it i also love the nuanced idea ideas like um regarding like leveling up um because like for example like yeah you can't le really level up in the traditional sense of like a grpg and i think that's fucking awesome um and <laughs> like other ideas like you can die by reading books if you fail a coin flip or you can die by like stepping on fire like in the overworld like that's kind of that's kind of crazy i i, I kind of like that I, I really like the little details on that um it makes it seem more interactable like the entire world is more interactable um and my final point for why i love this game so much is i love how unforgiving the game is the game is so incredibly unforgiving and it does not, does not pull any punches at all. And I find that so fucking awesome. Um, if you watch me more and more in this channel, you'll realize I love stupid, horrible games in the sense of like, it'll like Dark Souls. That's a stupid, horrible game. I fucking hate that game. I fucking love it so much because it just pushes you out into like, like Dark Souls 1. It pushes you out. First fucking enemy you fight is a big ass demon with a giant ass hammer that's fucking awesome this fear this game fear and hunger it like has that same feel like it just puts you out you you exit from the mist and then fucking 
dogs start barking out of nowhere and start like going crazy and then you get like fucking jumped from the dog and i don't know it's just i fucking love that appeal i fucking love that charm it's awesome um but yeah but obviously with every game there's always something you don't like and with this game there's no exception i don't like i really really don't like obviously you guys know the essay scenes fuck those scenes they're so fuck they're so fucking stupid um i understand like i commented on the hell of people's comments i replied to them i understand the view of the developer and stuff like that i understand it i flow with it but it's just not for me as soon as you explicitly show that shit to me I, i'm out like i'm out you can imply it you can um give context you can hint at it you can do stuff like that i don't want to see it as the viewer i don't want to see it as the gamer <laughs> as the gamer i just don't want to see it like i i just don't want to um i also like while the game promotes you not to fight in a lot of ways as in like you don't level up from fighting enemies you don't really gain much from fighting enemies other than like maybe they'll have something on their body you don't gain much from fighting enemies and you'll also have you're you're putting yourself at risk for doing a coin flip and like those those kind of things promote you not to fight enemies but i feel like yeah it, it, those little game mechanics and stuff like that promote you to not fight enemies and it gives a, a different kind of feel to a jrpg game but i feel like it forces you to avoid enemies to the point where you don't see all the cool like like enemy designs that like i don't know someone like me would have seen i went throughout the playthrough wanting to fight all the enemies because it'll be fun like i play the game for fun i play games for fun and i feel like if a person were to um be a person that just want to like win or something like that they won't see the stuff that i have seen throughout the playthrough and like i put myself in harm's way because i thought it was fun like that one i think her name was a greater mumbler like she her head exploded at me like that was cool or she like um she pulled my soul from my body that was fucking sick or the um the moonless guard that guy was sick he was cool looking or um even the the lantern guy I, at the very beginning i don't know what his name was he had like two lanterns he looked like he looked he looked like smoke from um dark souls but um yeah like i wanted to fight these guys just for the sake of fighting them just because it was cool um and i feel like those little game mechanics that promote you not to fight it, it kind of goes against like all like the and the, the it, it makes it so you don't see those cool designs and i i feel like that's that kind of sucks it's not a big bid bad blah, 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 a big bad thing about the game but i just i don't know i i wish i wish they didn't promote you to not fight as much but i understand it like it's a game where like you can fucking die by like one hit it's kind of crazy um but last thing um i want to talk about is my ending was kind of boring like low-key like low-key high-key high key. like it was kind of boring um like i wanted to become a god and i did i did become a god but that's really all that the extent of how that ending went like and then it just like panned out and i didn't really see like what i did and i didn't see explicitly what my actions did um like i would have loved to have like maybe like a still image or like a cutscene, or even at the very least like a still image of like what i look like as a god that'd be kind of cool to be honest um but yeah uh i don't know how the other endings roll but roll, roll out but uh, mine was rather boring like it was like low-key boring um but <sighs> that segues perfectly i am totally up to the idea of maybe trying to get other endings definitely not all the endings i don't want to go through that whole shebang shabag old shadoodle i kind of want to move on to the next game which is fear and hunger 2 i am so excited for this next game i've seen some like still images of it and it looks splendid it looks tight as hell um i really i really am excited to play this next game but yeah this game was beautiful i love this game this was a very big treat to experience and honestly i am so glad this is my first playthrough my first solo playthrough in my channel and i am very glad that this playthrough attracted such a cool amount of people that watch me you guys are really, really cool and you and i responded to a couple of comments and some of you guys share some of my humor um 
<laughs> it's fucking hilarious and i love you guys hello it's fucking funny um yeah i i hope that when i start the next uh playthrough that you guys will continue watching me and maybe some new people will come watch me uh it'll be really fun but yeah this game was fucking amazing it was major i loved it uh but yeah cool game guys see you in the next one bro